the Steel and Maz, Maz Music Radio's Pioneer Podcast. We're located in Quincy Point at the Maz Music Radio headquarters. Episode 7, boys. Let's let it Let's rip. fucking get it. On today's show, we got a special guest here today. The pride of Braintree and Rough and Rowdy 10 champion, Bobby Lights Out Lang. What's going on, Bobby? How we doing, pal? Doing good. Good to be here. Love That's to hear great it. Love to hear it. So we got a lot of stuff on our plate tonight. Tonight we'll sit with these two champions. What's up, Magic Mike? And discuss their, <laughs> discuss their fights along with what their future holds in the sport of boxing or whatever you call rough and rowdy, you know? Second, secondly, we'll discuss the state of the New England Patriots and how a tough loss in Houston last weekend really set the team back, heading into an AFC Championship rematch with the Kansas City Chiefs this weekend in Foxborough. Also, Minshew season is back as Jaguars quarterback Gardner Minshew has taken back the throne, which was rightfully his own, from Big Dick Nick Foles. We'll have our takes on that. Lastly, we'll also have our weekly segments of our NFL Week 14 picks, Steel Salute, Magic Mike's Minute, which I'm getting, re- I'm getting my popcorn ready for that one, and this week's Bonehead of the Week. All right, Bobby, we'll get right into this, man. Fucking, good. So uh, what was it? Uh, November 22nd. I heard that a million times. So how was your whole experience with everything and kind of kind of the main fight of the whole um, shebang? Yeah, main event. Uh, it was pretty good. fucking crazy, to be honest. I- I did the whole. It was kind of just like happened so fast, you know what I mean? I was in there, fucking. Go, we had to be there like eight hours early, so was, we were there at three o'clock. I didn't fight till eleven, so I'm just standing around for fucking eight hours, like waiting to fight, like which is like the worst part, because I'm all like amped up and I'm like, all right, I got fucking seven more hours to go. What the fuck am I supposed to do <laughs> yeah, with this whole time? Horse shit, right. buy right. soul. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> clean your shit up. But no, it was Give fun though. I liked being there. It was, it was fun. No, yeah, right. Like that Red Bull fucking shouldn't have done that before. It's yeah. Like, it's- I'm around. actually a big Red Bull guy myself, but I didn't drink any before because everyone kept telling me you don't have any caffeine because yeah, it, 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 it can fuck I wanted one so. so bad. Yeah, I, I did. I was feeding. I was having like <laughs> withdrawals because I drink that shit every day. So, but I, I managed to go without any caffeine before. So, so you're training. You're training for it. Who would you train with? What was your um? Uh, one of my yeah. best friends. His name is Jared Stanford, and he um. He's, a, he's an amateur boxer, but he's an actual legit boxing trainer. Yeah. He used to run the boxing program at Bayshore and Braintree for like three or four years or whatever. But he, he gave it up a year ago because he got a new job making more money. But he still trains like, you know, on the side or whatever. So he's like my best friend. So obviously the minute my video came up, well, obviously like, I, he knew about this whole thing yeah. in the works when I was mm-hmm. getting on to Rough and Rowdy. And then like, I'm like, dude, we got to stop boxing. And he's like, yeah, we'll see if you get picked first. And then the minute the video dropped... He, he called me, like, right when I answered, I'm like, yo, you see the video? And he's like, yeah. He's like, we're going to get in the gym, like, tomorrow. I'm like, yeah. So we, <laughs> we started, like, the next, legit, the next day. I was in there six days a week every day after that. You know what I mean? So, it when I, I was, yeah. Well, it I love I'm that. I saw the video. Yeah. He was like, I'm fucking back. Let's get it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I know. He needed it, too. Because, like, he's been slacking, just working. Like, not really, he hasn't been really going to the gym either. So, like. I mean, I go to the gym all the time. I've been going, for, you know, steadily for years, but I never boxed. I always just lifted and shit. I always wanted to box, though, but I just never had, like, really time to get into it. But this was, like, the motivation I needed because, like, once I realized I was going to be in this, I was like, oh, shit, I'm going to have to fight a kid, like, on TV in front of, like, thousands of people. I was like, <laughs> I didn't really think this through when I applied. I got to fucking, yeah. I was like, we got to fucking do some work. So I, we had two months, so he was like, hey, I'll teach you as much as I can in two months, so. Mostly it's just conditioning. I had fucking, I had, you know, I mean, I never did a conditioning really before since, since like, I played sports and shit when I was younger. Yeah. But uh, I played college football and stuff. But, like, since then, I haven't really done anything conditioning-wise. So, first day, day one, I was fucking gassed. Like, me and him went in there for, like, three, the first round, I was pretty good. And then the second round, I was so fucking tired, I couldn't even keep my hands up. So, right there, I was like, oh, shit. I, I have two months, I got to fucking start running every single day. And I did, and ran and boxed and did everything for two straight months. So, when the fight came, I, I felt good. Like, conditioning-wise, I was like, f- I felt fine. You know what I mean? I could have kept going. So so let's talk about your opponent here. So, Mike Lav, so you're coming into this fight, this absolute wild card of a kid. The weigh-ins go in. He's getting his jabbers off. He's got the sunglasses going with the Conor McGregor look. And I kind of see you there just, like, timid, just waiting for your time. And, yeah. then, and then you knocked him down three times, and the fourth time they kind of called it quits. So what kind of went into that being, going into that fight, being like, I'm – Probably going to try to beat the shit out of this kid. All right, well, <laughs> let me start off by saying, after the fact, Mike Live's actually a good kid. Yeah. You know what I mean? We shook hands after. He's a solid dude. He was like, yo, nothing personal. That all, I was just trying to hype the fight up, get eyes on it, whatever. Like, none of that was personal. Yeah. And Good kid. But I didn't learn it until after the fact. <laughs> so, backtracking the day before, yeah. when everything you said took place, I was like, 
I'm gonna fucking kill this kid. I'm like he has cornrows. <laughs> like I'm gonna I'm gonna kill him. That was like, a bold. I wasn't I wasn't the least bit worried. Like because in my opinion, he was worried way more about like all the antics to go along with it. Like you know, he had his whole entourage. There. I showed up the way and by myself. Like I didn't even know you're allowed to bring people. And I'm like, oh, he's got a fucking he's got like the Floyd Mayweather money team with him. And I'm like. It, it just seemed to me like he cared way. He, he went on like a radio show the day before and stuff, and like I was like, it just seems like he just cares way more about like trying to get popular from this the than show actually man. winning. The like, show I, man. I'm going into this fight to win. Like I've been trained for this. Like I'm not losing this fight on uh, TV yeah. in front of people. So like, right when he showed up and was acting like that, I was like, wow, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm not even the least any worry I had is out the window. I'm gonna fucking, I'm gonna fucking annihilate this kid. So I feel bad saying that. Because after I met him, he was a good kid. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. my first impression was he was a douchebag. But after I met him and talked to him and shook his hand, and you know, he was a good kid, and I got along good with him. He was cool. He, you know, what I mean, he shook my hand like a man. All his friends shook my hand after, and they were like, "Yeah, not nothing personal. That was all just us trying to like promote it." So, you know, what I mean, shout out to Mike Live. You're, you're a good dude. Hopefully, you get another chance to fight again. And another thing I'm gonna say too is, uh, he didn't get. It's not fair to judge him based on that fight because I, I feel like he's probably a lot tougher kid than, than he got a chance of showing that. Not being like a fucking tough guy, but... No, but you know... I, you know what I mean? Just because I, just <laughs> just I beat him and I, I beat him, but that doesn't mean he's not... You know, for all we know, he could have been the second toughest kid there. Like, he, you know what I mean? Like, so, give, I, hopefully he gets another chance and I, I think his next fight he's going to do a lot better. So, Mike so Live, give us in. Good, good luck <laughs> in your next fight. So, let's rewind kind of. I, I saw your, like, hype video. So, what kind of gave you the, I'm going to wear this Brain Street tee, I'm going to go in front of Gillette Stadium, home with the Pats, and be like, I'm going to give out this little speech yeah. here, really get they it. They made you go there, So, right? yeah. So, it's funny you say that because <laughs> a lot, I've noticed a lot of people keep... A lot of people are like, dude, Gillette Stadium, Foxborough's not even the South Shore. This kid needs to look at a fucking map. I'm, all these people are like, why the fuck is he at Gillette Stadium? What a loser. First of all, th- that was the Rough and Rowdy people told me to meet them there. They call, like, they were like, hey, come down to Foxborough and meet us at Gillette Stadium parking lot. Like, We're going to film this video. I didn't film that video myself. They filmed it, and I met them there. So just to clear the air here, like, okay. I didn't drive the fucking Foxborough on my own to film and do that. Like, That was a... Well, I did technically drive there on my own to do that. But, <laughs> yeah, but I mean, yeah, yeah. I was meeting the guy there. Like, that was uh-huh. where it was. And, I, and, like, there was, like, a bunch of other... Obviously, as people figured out, there was, like, six other videos that all yeah, were yeah. shot there because they were all filming it there. You know what I mean? I wasn't the only one there. Sense, when I, I pulled up, there was, like, five other guys waiting to go. You know what I mean? So, like... No, so, yeah, when uh, I saw that, I was like, what the fuck? Like, why did they... Why did yeah. they all have the same idea? I, was like, I think <laughs> a lot of people, like, caught on after, like... Internet trolling, like, what a fucking loser going to Foxborough. And then, like, three videos later, like, all right, they're all Foxborough. <laughs> like, like, either that's a weird coincidence or they were told to go there and met the guy. Yeah. So, yeah, I met the guy down there. But uh, the Brancher jersey, onto that, was uh, I didn't play basketball in high school. So, just so everyone knows, I wasn't, like, wearing my jersey from high school. Got to represent, but, yeah, though. It was yeah, one, yeah, of, my, yeah, one yeah. of my yeah. friends. So, I actually wore it on a cruise, like, a couple of years ago. Just, like, out one night because it looked good. And, uh... I, I was, like, right when this call came around, I, like, called my friend because he actually had it, like, hanging in his room still. And I was like, dude, I'm like, I need to borrow the Brancher jersey again. And he's like, why? I'm like, because uh, I got to go film a video to get on Rough and Rowdy. I'm going to kind of act like a douchebag. And uh, <laughs> I need – it'd be funny if I wore the Brancher jersey. So I And I'm obviously representing Brancher, too. So it was, like, a good opportunity to wear it. And I did. So I thought it was funny. And yeah. I wanted to show off my – you know, my physique. Of course. Yeah, so, no sleeves. Yeah. No mercy. Yeah. yeah. I, I like the move. I, I, I like that move. So, uh, yeah, so that's why I wore the Braintree jersey. Yeah. But, so, speaking and, I'm, of, and I'm, I fucking love Braintree. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm, okay. I want to live there. Represent. I'm from there. I'm going to buy a house there eventually one of these days. Like, I'm going to live there forever. You know what I mean? So, I'm speaking of that. I'm going to walk, I'm yeah, a walk yeah. through and yeah. through. Yeah, yeah. After <laughs> Quincy podcast. Right? Well, I live, <laughs> I've lived in Quincy. Quincy yeah. Braintree. Yeah. It's a social well, I mean, I, I own a house Fine. in Quincy. So, I've, you know, I've lived in Quincy okay. for a couple yeah, of years. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he owns a house here. Eventually, yeah. I'm going to buy another house in Braintree. And that's where I'm going to live when I'm older. But Quincy's good for now. So, what's kind of the reception been since this big win, all the hype up in the town of Braintree? On uh, Braintree, it's, well, no one's really surprised at Braintree, anyone who knew me. You know what I mean? They're all like, yeah, well, that's, it, that's went, it went about exactly how we thought it would go. But yeah. a lot of other people, like, probably, are like, who didn't know me, obviously, like, why would they, you know what I mean, would just, like, would have been like, oh, shit, that was fucking good fight. Like, that kid really did you. kick the shit out of that guy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, well, I thought you were kind of a tool in the video, but actually, the kid could throw his hands <laughs> a little bit. He knew what he was doing, but, uh, no, I fucking, um, I've, had, I've had a shitload of people, like, messaging me on Instagram and shit, being, like, like, random people, like, hey, like, 
nice fight. Like, are you, hopefully you're fighting in Miami. Like, if you are, I'm definitely renting it. Like, blah, blah, blah. I want to see you fight again. Like, ran. Like, like, when I got out of there, I had, like, 68, like, message requests from, like, strangers, which was crazy. <laughs> no girls, though. <laughs> I, no, I, I, I had, like, be I, had, I had, like, two girls. I had, like, two girls, like, trying to slide into my DMs. But the, the guy to girl ratio say? is not good. That's tough. What did they but, come with? Uh, I don't know. One girl said, "You fine as fuck." AF. Like you fine AF. And I just, I'm engaged though, anyway. So like, you know, I'm not trying to do that anyway. But it makes me. It would make me feel good if I got more girls messaging me. But yeah, yeah unfortunately, right. the guy to girl ratio has not been good. Even with pictures, a lot of guys have been taking pictures with me. Zero girl pictures. Like run, run, I must have taken a hundred pictures with random drunk dudes and like. Not a single girl, but whatever. Like, Christ. I don't care. It was I a guy heavy crowd. Yeah, it, it was, was a it guy was a, heavy crowd. I heard there was like 20 girls crowd. there. Yeah. Yeah. I, actually, I took a couple that. pictures with girls, but they were girls that I already knew, so it didn't count. I yeah. want to know the percentage. Like, of girls from college. Like, of like non girlfriends and like the people there. It had to be like under a percent. Like, I, I thought more I'd girls see. would want to come to it, yeah. honestly. I was surprised to hear, like, I don't know. Yeah, it's not, I guess it makes sense. Who, what kind of check doesn't seem like a girl uh, environment. No, not at all. Yeah. Yeah. They like the little barstool blackout tour mm-hmm. thing. Not, not yeah. for That's, real. yeah, yeah, definitely. And from <laughs> what I heard, I mean, obviously I wasn't in the stands, but I heard the fucking stands was like chaos. Like, my friends oh. were like, dude, the seating arrangement just didn't matter by like a third fight. Oh, it was no, just I, like, no, no, it was just like a free for all, like yeah. every man for yourself, like sit wherever. It, Wherever you can get, like, push your way up to is where you get. Oh, like, yeah, exactly. There were guys who bought, like, the cheapest tickets that were in the front row by the end of it, so. That's how you do Rough and Rowdy, by the way. I, when I went, <laughs> I went to Youngstown, Ohio, Rough Same and Rowdy, thing. I was, like, I bought a ticket. I was ringside by the end. Right really? Behind yeah. Perez, Bill Byrne, all them. Nice. You just figure it out. Like, no one gives a fuck in these things. Oh, yeah. No I feel like the Super Bowl one is going to be a little more uh, uh, strict because it's, like, a bigger event or yeah, whatever. Yeah, sure that yeah that they're not going to let, like... F- some fucking pro athlete who's there, like, get trampled by some fucking. Drunk <laughs> yeah, but I think, it's, drunk yeah. I think <laughs> it's invite only. I'm pretty Is sure. It? Oh, yeah. I think maybe they'll give you, like, your free tickets yeah. since you're fighting, but. Well, they gave us all two free tickets last time, so. Yeah. I mean, I. And, and a little, yeah. and I mean, a little yeah. bit of cash. What's the date on that? Is that bucks. January 31st? January 31st. You're yeah. officially fighting? So, obviously, nothing's, like, set in stone yet, but the next day, the guy, Chris, who's in charge, he called me at, like, 10 in the morning and. I was I was out drinking until six in the morning, obviously yeah, the day after. Can so, we get into yeah. the after? We'll yeah, we'll get into answer that. This <laughs> so get into I, the I like point. heard my phone ring and I was just like ignored it because I was like, I'm not, I'm like, dude, I've been asleep for, like three hours. Like, what the fuck? So I ignored it, and I but I didn't know who was calling. I would have answered if I knew it was him. And then uh and then I my phone vibrated right after, so that means I got a, I got a text message. So I'm like, all right, called and text instantly. I'm like, what? Is, I got, I gotta see what this is all about. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And uh, so I look and it's up. and it's a uh, text from him and it's like a big paragraph being like, hey, like good good job like. Uh, we really want you to come down to Miami and uh, fight some kid in Florida at the Super Brawl event or whatever. Like, he's like, would you be interested in doing that? And I obviously texted him back, like, yeah, hundred percent. I'm definitely interested in doing that. So that was the extent of our conversation. But they told me he told me they wanted me to come down, and he asked me if I'd be willing to come down. I said I would, and uh, that's that. So I'm just you know waiting to hear back from him. You know, I'm sure he'll call me in a couple weeks or whatever once we get closer to the day. Because yeah. last time around. The way this guy operates, it's we don't have like long conversations. He's he's very like to the point, like all business. Yeah, like all business, like yeah. to the point, like hey, this is happening, and then like you don't hear from him for like two weeks, and then and then it's like hey, uh, you're gonna be here on this day, you know what I mean? So I wasn't expecting like you know a follow up anytime soon, but he's as of right now, from what it seems like, it's, it sounds like I'm locked in to fight down there, so. Which I'm just waiting to hear who I'm That's fighting. Big. That's really so, all I gotta find go. out. So, I didn't find out who I was fighting this time around until like two weeks before, so. I probably it's probably gonna be the same thing. I probably won't yeah. find out who I'm fighting until like right before it. But. Definitely not till like after like New Year's or anything like that. Yeah, probably, probably not. But as of right now, I'm I'm pretty sure I'm fi- I'm on like 99 percent sure I'm fighting in it. So I'm still training the same way, and I'm you know I'm taking they it serious. Love, they yeah. love you. They want you back. Yeah, so they want you to. You hear here, folks? They want they want Light, him back. Lights out There's back. There's no way they yeah. don't. Lights out, not going him. anywhere. <laughs> they want lights I'm out all, back in that. Ring. Also, it's lights out, Lang. Can we get it right? They keep dropping. Everyone keeps dropping the Lang from my. The moniker lights out. Like I don't know who came up with that. Fucking lights out, Lang. The champ is here. Yeah, exactly. The champ is here. <laughs> and it's like I chose lights out because it's actually I didn't even choose it. When my my friend chose it, but I was gonna ask how did how did you get actually that? this is kind of a funny story. Lights out, Lang came about in college. So this was five years ago. Um, I I knocked some kid out. Whatever I got in a fight, um, but because I. The way the fashion that it happened in, one of my friends just like started calling me 
I got called Lights Out Lang. I can and picture it. it stuck. I can picture it. It stuck. Yeah. And people started calling me Lights Out Lang. Like, it was just like a funny thing. Lights Out Lang. You know? <laughs> so, obviously, after college, it kind of died. It went away after college. Like, yeah. no one was calling me that in my professional life. Like, yeah. hey, Lights Out, you got that, uh, that briefcase or whatever? I don't know. I don't, I don't work in an office anyway. But <laughs> I don't fucking know what they do in there. Yeah. But uh, anyways, fucking... Um, so, yeah, no one had called me that shit in, in, like, five years. But then, obviously, like, when this all came about, all my friends, I'm still friends with all the same kids. They were like, dude, Lights Out's back, baby. Let's go. <laughs> Fucking, you got to obviously, obviously, they were like, they were like, did they ask, like, what you want to do, a nickname? And I'm like, yeah. And they're like, dude, you got to do Lights Out Lang. I'm like, obviously. So, <laughs> so yeah. You got to, I would own that nickname. That yeah. nickname's yeah. fucking, like, solid. It's, exactly. Very, comes right off the tongue. But you have to, you can't drop my last name, though, because then it doesn't make, oh, you know no. what I mean? Yeah. Oh, yeah. That you got to create a nice Lights Out. Lights Out. That, what does that mean? He's nothing. Lights out, yeah. Lang comes it's, and kills motherfuckers. It's all L's. It yeah. makes it flows. It, you gotta so keep good. Yeah, so the kid we so started, good. I'm picturing that kid like dead for like three days. <laughs> oh, the like like for lights out to come as a nickname. Yeah, uh, he was a he was a huge dickhead. What happened? He he there was like a special needs kid that we used to like hang around with. Like he was on some program with one of my friends in college, and he used to like he he came out with us all the time, or whatever. And this kid was a fucking dickhead, and he threw it. He th- I don't know what this kid. You have to like be nice to people like that if yeah. they do oh, something. Yeah. Like, he, he might have, he used to do stupid things once in a while that would, like rub people the wrong way. But like, but you, like you have you to gotta... like because on first glance you didn't know, but then after you like interact with him, you're like, oh, there's something mm-hmm. something's off about this guy. Like give him a give him a second chance. This kid though didn't care. He was a dickhead, and he took a fucking he took a full monster drink and like gunned it off the kid's head, and it hit his head and like exploded. Jesus. So this was in my apartment in college. Oh. So I'm like. So it, the shit like splashed all over me, and I'm like, "What the fuck?" And I went over, I'm like, "Yo, what happened?" And he's like, "Just like he's like, the kid threw a thing at me." So I'm like, "I." So I go up to the kid, and I'm like, dead. "I'm like, I'm like, yo," but I, I'm, I'm still giving him like a benefit of the doubt. Like maybe he didn't know, you know what I mean? I'm like, yeah. maybe this kid like did something to like creeped out his girlfriend or something. So I went up to him, and I was like, "I'm like, hey, I'm like, what the what the fuck is your problem? Why'd you do that?" And his exact words were, um, and I don't talk like this, but th- his exact words were. Uh, the kid was being a fucking retard. Oh. And I was literally, I just go, all right. I go, and I was I was in a phase in my life where I was, like, trying to, I was about to graduate. I was trying not to get in as many fights as I used to growing up. So I was, like, trying to, like, I was, like, the old me would have just knocked this kid out on the spot. But I was, like, you know what? I'm going through a transitioning phase. We're trying to be a better person. Yeah. I'm not going to knock this kid out. Uh, yeah. I'm, like, Sammy, well, and, uh, <laughs> So I was, like, all right. You know what? I go, all right, buddy. I'm, like, you need to get the fuck out of my apartment right now. I was, like, that that's not cool, get out. And then he goes, go fuck yourself. So I was like, all right, you know what? Yo. Fuck, the, fuck the transition. And I fucking, bam, knock, knock, literally like, this kid, knock, what an idiot. The, yeah, I fucking, death wish. I knocked this kid out like so fucking bad and he, he started having a seizure on the floor. Like, oh, it was pretty, God. pretty bad. But he deserved it. He was a fucking dickhead, what he did. So I, I don't, I don't feel nickname. bad about doing it at no, all. Like, no, he shouldn't. So, how, really how many fights have you been in? A shitload. Over like, over since the time, yeah, over 30. 50? No, I'm probably between 30 and 40. Okay. What do you like more, street bo- street fighting no, or boxing? I, street street fighting is over. That that was a part of my yeah. life is over. Like, I'm, so I'm 27 never... years old now. <laughs> Fair I'm, enough. I'm, you know what I mean? I just, I just want to box now. I want to fight in a ring. Yeah. You know I mean, I don't want to... I'm trying to... I'm not trying to be a well, fucking like loser. Rough and box. Yeah. If, yeah, growing up in high school, college, uh, yeah. even a little bit after, but I'm not supposed to talk about that. But uh, I've de- been in a... I'm just... Listen, I'm on a... I'm not like a fucking douchebag that I stash with people. I'm just like I'm just for some reason I was always a kid like in the wrong place at the wrong time that always found himself in like confrontations with other groups of kids or whatever. Mm-hmm. A lot of it's my friends. My friends are a bunch of fucking rascals. I've met. <laughs> I've met. Yeah. They're always, they are rascals. But ninety percent of the time it's like my friends causing problems and then I have to like step like hey Bob, uh, why don't you why don't you step in now? Like you know this guy's so, a piece of shit. I'm gonna, yeah. I'm gonna like, shout out. I got my tough friend here with me, so I can fuck you. You know what I mean? Shout Bob, out to Kids. Yeah. Branger Kids Bahamas Spring Break yeah. 2010. Quincy, us Quincy people thought we were on a certain level. I mean, you guys you showed us some stuff. So <laughs> any of you who watch yeah. this, you, you and how about us the attendance of Branger Kids level. though at uh, Rough and Rowdy though? You got quite the I had a group group in there. there. Yeah, yeah. I have a big group of friends. I've been hanging out with the same kids. Most of my friends I've been hanging out with since like elementary school, like still till this day. I know it's weird. A lot of people after high school like get all new groups of friends or whatever. But I've been hanging out with the same kids forever. And then, like, over the years, we've just, like, added more here. And, oh, this kid's in the group now. And this kid. Yeah. So I've my group is, of friends is pretty big. So obviously, like, 
they got a potty bus to go down. They had like fucking fifty kids on it. You know, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. rolling deep to the fight. And they so, all walk you out, or what? what was no, the I walked out by myself. Uh, well, I, well, just my friend because he they, he was in my corner with me. They let oh, me yeah. in the corner. So oh, that you trainer you're talking about? Right? Yeah, yeah. You, okay, cool. So yeah, um, yeah. I was gonna I was gonna come out just by myself. Like that was the plan. Yeah. I was like, I'm just gonna come out by myself and fucking. You know what I mean? Going kill in and trying to fight this Road war, yeah. Kill but, uh, kill. They let, because they provide you with a corner man, and uh, so that was why I was going to come up by myself. But then I was like, hey, like, this kid is like an actual boxing trainer, and he's been training me. Like, can he can he be in my corner too? And they were like, yeah, fine, whatever. So everything else was unorganized. So, you know, they were like, yeah, I guess so. We weren't supposed to let you have your own people, but we'll let it, we'll let it slide. So they, they just like, were like, yeah, fuck it. So, so I was like, hey, come out with me. So last minute, he came out with me, and he was in my corner with me, but... Originally, I was going to just come out by myself. And I also kind of thought it was funny that the other kid was coming out with, like, a fucking posse of people, and I was just going to come out alone. Same with the way, and I showed up alone, you know what I mean? But granted, I didn't know I was going to bring anyone to that, but I probably still wouldn't have either way. But. We were talking about it earlier, but was it popping bottles after? What were you guys, what was the shit? Well, yeah, the minute I got or? on the uh, potty bus, it was just fucking electric. <laughs> like, I saw one was, video of yeah, there was, was you in the, there was you got videos. the jacket in your yeah. hand, and everyone's going, I, I don't yeah. know who's fucking. I might, I it's on my them, Instagram, I think. Uh, there's that, fucking, that there's, a, there's a video, I'm tagged in it, there's a video of me coming on the bus, like, right, actually, it's like, right, this is probably a good, the answer to your question would be better just to show you this video, but fucking, I don't know, go to my Instagram, lights out lang, and you'll see it, like, they, uh, Great self it's right when I come there. on, I had the, I know, yeah, subtly, just slip it in there. Give him a follow. Yeah. Slide in his but, uh, DMs. He but, wants to take pictures with more dudes. I, I, I came on, I had the jacket, I was holding it up, obviously, and everyone was just fucking piling on oh, me, yeah. fucking throwing yeah. beers, splashing beers everywhere. What do you got, what do you got your jacket kept at home? I, I don't know. I, I honestly just think I'm just, like, hanging on, like, my normal <laughs> thing. Am I just I mean, I'm not, yeah. who wears no, I'm, I'm definitely, <laughs> I'm definitely wearing that in Miami. There's a hundred percent chance I'm wearing oh, that yeah, in yeah. Miami, but I I'm not gonna wear that out to like the brew house tomorrow. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I'll sponsor it real quick. I don't know. Yeah, the people let's go. Are, it's good. You got the well, nice thing here. Yeah. Got, but it, as we nice. transition to Miami, what's your favorite jacket? It's got to be the next one, right? What do you mean? Like you you're gonna fight Miami if oh, you win Miami, you win yeah. another jacket. Oh yeah, it's a Tom Brady reference. I, I thought I had to throw oh, it. Oh okay, I, yeah, I missed it. Yeah, but, yeah, uh, went over my head, but uh, <laughs> it's all good. yeah, I don't know. I don't even know. They better give something more than a jacket in Miami. I mean. Yeah, two, I, I two th- times. I think, yeah. I think they're gonna give some big time money. Honestly, I don't know about that. But I do, I do. I don't even care I about really the money. Do. To be honest, like if they don't even give me money, I, I you, I, you just love fighting. Yeah, you're, you're just a fighter. I just want to fight. That the, honestly, I've I've wanted to fight for real, like boxing for for like years. I just never got around to it because I was always too busy and stuff. And like the gym I go to, I'd always just like watch the there's a, the boxing area is like next to like where I work, like lift weights and shit. And I would just like find myself like watching. The people boxing, and I just be like, I could do that. Yeah. I went to Bayshore. Yeah, I went to Bayshore. Yeah, and uh, once you said yeah. that, I was like, he goes to Bayshore. Yeah, so I just, but like, I've always wanted to. And then my best friend, who's like a boxing trainer, obviously, he's been trying to get me to, for years. Like back when he used to run the gym, they'd be like, dude, you gotta come in. Like, so finally, this was like the motivation I needed to start doing it. And now that I did it, it was like, it was like something like a switch went off in my head, and I was like, I I want to do this now. Like, you look like a box. Like yeah, you like, just like the look. Like, like, you, it was came, like a, you came with the scally cap to yeah. in the video at the weigh in. You just I wear a scally cap. Silent assassin. Pretty, I'd sleep on a scally cap if that was feasible. <laughs> like, you you <laughs> just look like the type of dude who's like, I don't want to talk. I want to yeah. fight. Yeah, I mean, that's the, I'll I'll, I'll, train I'll talk and things like this, joke around or whatever. But like the minute like I'm like. In Big his own, game. like, I was like, I don't want to talk at all. Like, I want to just yeah. fight this kid. But. The way you attacked him like a like a tiger, like, going on his prey was just, no, there was no other fight like that. Yeah. Like, this kid, it's funny. I, he wasn't prepared for that kind yeah. of style. I, I, I wasn't prepared really was. either because, well, I was, obviously, but, like, I thought he was a southpaw. Because his video, he was jabbing with his right hand. So, like, the, le- the yeah, two I weeks, what you're I was leading up to it. It's all we did was train, like, lefties. I had, like, my friend had, like, a kid he knows who was, like, a, a Golden Gloves boxer who's a lefty come in and, like, I spied with him. Like, all we did was, like, su- southpaw shit. And then the minute we get there and we see him hit, he was, like, hitting the mitts and stuff. And I'm like, dude, he's, he's not even a fucking left. Like, right before I'm about to go out. Fuck. I'm like, he was a mind, f- he played a Jedi mind trick on me. Like, <laughs> so now we get into the ring and he's like, oh, right, just go back to what we already doing. it. But, like, this is, like, as I'm walking out and I'm, like, in my mind, I'm like, fuck, I'm drawing a blank. I don't even know how to fight a regular guy now. Like, <laughs> yeah. I'm like, every, I'm like, I have no idea. The whole game plan just got scrapped, and I, I'm like running through everything in my head right before we're about to go off, and I'm like, all right, what do I, how do I come out at this? Like, he's not a lefty, so the, the original plan scrapped. What? Because the whole the original plan was I was gonna come out slow. Like, we worked all week on like sl- slipping. Like, you're just studying obviously. up on this guy. Yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I had it like down to a science. Like, to I was gonna slip his jab, hit him, go to the body, 
left hook to the head and two love to the it, face. Love it. I had it love down. It. I had this this like memorized. Like we we must have practiced this a hundred times. <laughs> and then it's like that we're not doing this anymore. He's not <laughs> so fuck. then I'm like fuck. I'm like I had like two seconds to think, and I'm like I'm like fuck. What do I? What's my new plan now? What's my new strategy? And I'm like. All right, fuck it. I'm just gonna go out. I'm just gonna go yeah. right at him and start swinging. I have no other, nothing, no other thing to do. You, you did know what I mean? you know. Yeah, I just went back. I just like, like I just like reverted time. to my natural instincts and just went in there swinging. And that's my, all you my friend after was like, "What happened to taking it slow?" Like I was like, "Dude, I wasn't a solid <laughs> ball. I yeah, fucking yeah. kicked out." <laughs> would you <laughs> ever went around to? You can't take it slow though, in rough and rowdy. Like, uh, you can't take. I it mean, slow. you only got minute around, so especially you, you're conditioned. Like, yeah. I'm sure he was conditioned. He, yeah, I'm you know, sure, yeah. like the, he was with that boxing gym that basically ran rough and round. Yeah, you can't take it slow and rough and round. You have to like if you don't come out hard, you're gonna lose. Yeah, but no if you come out, if you come out too hard and the exactly. kid yeah, slips yeah. your punch and fucking counters and just <laughs> knocks you the fuck out, were then, you even worried that that would happen though? Like no, but slightly? I you know I trained for a reason. I wasn't gonna just go in there and start throwing haymakers. I, I know like, what you I, mean. You know, I mean, I had a game plan. That would fuck me up. The whole the game plan got cameras. fucked up when I found out he was not a. He fucking tricked me. Little rascal. <laughs> so, shout out Mike That's Live. It. Yeah, well, so I, I already gave him a smart move. It was a smart yeah, move. Yeah, yeah. Smart you move had me you. for a minute there. <laughs> so who do you think you're gonna fight in uh, Miami? He's just gonna be uh, some. They told or? me. They told me. Um, he was like obviously from the South Shore, as we've established. Um, they told me they wanted to do uh, South Shore Mass for a South Beach Water. Like that was the whole. You know, they always have like an angle. That was like the whole dynamic they want to go yeah. with the South Shore for South Beach. So. I'm supposed to, yeah, so I'm kid from South Beach, which I don't even know. I, I'm not a geography major. Like, is South Beach my, like, Miami? Yeah, Miami. yeah, okay. Miami. Okay. Like so basically, South, I'm fighting a kid from Miami. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. So, so imagine, Mike, who are you going to fight? I'm fighting, I'm fighting Mike Live. That's the oh. plan. Well, I, I <laughs> want to fight, <laughs> fight Mike Live. I'm hearing what he's saying. This is the toughest kid in the South Shore. I think now you're the toughest kid in New England. That's what, that's, <laughs> that's what you want, right? Yeah, I think so. And okay. you're really backing him like that? You think he's a solid fight? I, all I'm I, saying is... I respect that if that is your answer. All I'm saying is I, I don't think it's fair to judge him based on the fight with me. Because I, I obviously like got the better of him. But I, you know, I'm a solid dude. I can throw my hands. Like, I got, you know, I got him good early. Like... It's not fair. It's not fair to rule him out over that. You know what I mean? Give if, another chance. What if we make it a little bit of a vendetta kind of thing, and like, I and I, I plan. I'm calling Mike Live out. The video is not out yet, but I'm gonna make a video, and I want to go to Miami, and I plan on calling out Mike Live. I got Bobby Lights out laying here with me. <laughs> well, would you train? Can I go to your gym? <laughs> can we just like completely eviscerate well, we'll, Providence we'll, off the map? We'll set aside like one or two days a week for you to come in if you want to do that. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm in for that. Yeah, like, I'm, yeah, in for, I'm, I'm definitely I, like I, I'm not I, gonna like stop doing what I'm doing. No, 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 no. no. I'm not gonna. Yeah. don't take your time. I'll yeah. work around yeah, your def- time. Yeah. But like, I think we gotta call. Just I, make I sure you bring headgear if we're gonna spot. Because I got, I got it all. <laughs> my gym, <laughs> added a little extra, buddy. <laughs> no, my gym made me. Buy, oh, I don't want to uh, spar yeah. you. That, that'll yeah. be some. Good, that'll be some good content. Yeah. Couple of you want to see Magic Mike get knocked out? But I just want. I want to fight him because he's. You know. The thing about Mike Live is he thinks he's it's all about the show, like you said with him, and I'm kind of all about the show. Like me fighting my <laughs> yeah. brother, if you didn't notice yet, it was all the show. I just wanted to get on Barstool, Rough and Rowdy. It was all to produce to help numbers here. What are you doing now? But like now, I want yeah, I'm still trying to help numbers. I want to go there. I want to go to Miami for Super Bowl weekend. That would I'd be stupid not to want to do that. I want to hang out with Bobby some more. Lights out. Yeah. Lang. That's right, yeah. That was fucking hey, close. Hey, that was hey, fucking close, I want to chill on the beach. I fuck this New England weather. I want to watch the Patriots win another Super Bowl. And Mike Live's the one to go. I saw him up all the barstool rough and rowdy people's asses, so I know they want him back. I know you want redemption, Mike Live. I'm a pretty easy fight, so everyone says. So come and fucking get it. Video's coming this weekend. We're going. I'm coming. It had to happen. It had to happen again. <laughs> We're coming for you. Oh, man. Kick oh my man. ass. I don't give a Not fuck. Not again. I'll, I'm going to win. So you want one of these jackets, <laughs> Mike? <laughs> You're going to have to fucking earn it. You're going to have to earn it. That training, might be the hype video training, right now. It isn't going to be. Training starts Monday. Yeah. I got a better hype video for you. So it's going to be the battle of the showman. Battle of Velvet Suit versus Seersucker. Bucket Hat versus Dreads. <laughs> I'm coming, Mike Live. You want it? Let's get it. I, I believe they're cornrows. 
Corn not rice. dreads. Corn but rice. Yeah. I like your. Get it right. I like get your it right. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry. Get a combo. Get it right. I'm in promo mode. I'm in promo. I, I can't so. fight too good, but now that I got lights out on my side, lights on Lang, I'm feeling oh, good. I, it is easy to just say lights out. I apologize. It's okay. Honestly, I right off the top. I was just joking anyway. I don't really give a shit that bad, but. <laughs> I it's just, it's just like yeah. you gotta they just cut the my set. legs out from under me. I'm like, I had this creative name that everyone liked, and then they just change it to lights out. I'm like, okay, what the fuck? What am I chopped liver? Yeah, Which I, I kind of still am, obviously. But no, I no, won one fight. You, like, you ain't chopped fuck. liver. Yeah. Uh, you, I, you, you were saying earlier that people really are over it already. Like, they uh, can't be over it. They know you're fucking. No, I, I mean, like, this is a big deal. Every day that goes by, let people care less and less. Put it that way, but. Does it's, that piss you off? No, I don't. I mean, I won yeah. one amateur fight. Who cares? But I hopefully I'm gonna go win a second amateur fight, and then you know we'll keep going from there, and then we'll see what happens. Have you ever thought of doing an amateur fight like non rough and rowdy? I uh, I'm gonna definitely after you know. after we're done with. Well, I'm gonna keep doing this as long. I'm gonna see where this takes me. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? I'm gonna yeah, go absolutely. keep doing as long. If they want to keep having me back, I'm gonna keep coming. But yeah, I'm definitely planning on. I'm gonna keep boxing right. after this. So is the goal just right. go one and zero every time you go out, right? That's, yeah, that's exactly. The game. Keep winning. Yeah. Keep winning. I don't see anyone. I don't think anyone's knocking this fucking kid out. I, like it just. Yeah. I don't well, see it coming. Well, I'm gonna keep training anyway and take him. I'm not gonna take anyone lightly. So, oh, you know what I mean, that's a, that's a champion type of answer right there. Yeah. So with you destined to go Miami and you trying to go to Miami, we're hoping the Patriots get there. <laughs> yes. Yes. Hundred percent. We got. We need I'm them be, to make it. I'm gonna be so fucking mad if the Pats don't make it, dude. Like literally, like. I want to go to Super Bowl so bad, like every other Super Bowl I've missed, and I've always like almost went in, and I always back out last minute for whatever reason, and like this year I was like, dude, I'm going no matter what, <laughs> and then obviously this fucking rowdy stuff came about, so now it's like, uh, yeah, pounds, I'm, pounds, like, this is yeah. All, I'm not going. <laughs> so like, if the Pats, if I go to the Super Bowl for the first time ever, and the Pats aren't in it, like I'm gonna be devastated. My life's gonna be over. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I won't even go to the game. Yeah. I literally won't. I'll be too mad. Even if it's a good game, I don't care. I'm just gonna go home. I'll, oh, go yeah, home on, I'll go home on Sunday. Oh, yeah, the fucking Ravens. I don't blame you. Yeah. I don't blame yeah, I'm not going to watch <laughs> the Ravens. Fucking especially because yeah. we're going to make it the AFC, AFC Championship. Yeah, I was going to say, if we, and especially, like, it'll be so, so fresh in my mind. Like, if the Pats aren't in it, that means it's lost in the AFC Championship. Oh, yeah. So, like, I'm going to be... I'm just going to be a mess. Yeah. <laughs> like, <laughs> right? I'm not going to watch be, these scumbags. Yeah. It would be Fuck a goddamn it. statement if you just said, I'm not coming because the Patriots aren't playing. That would <laughs> no. be such a... I'll still come and fight them either <laughs> what way. What did you say in your post-interview? You, you, yeah. you said Pats are making the Super Bowl. Oh, you, went, you went off. That, you, was, you before they, Patriots, that was before uh, they lost to the Texans this week. Yeah. yeah. Kind of made me a little bit nervous. What the fuck was that? I still... Let me... Uh, like rebuttal by saying I still think the Pats are gonna make it. Yeah, I'm I not. I'm not like that nervous yet. But we gotta f- see what happens with Kansas City this weekend. And if we lose to Kansas City, now I'm gonna be like, okay, now I'm fucking nervous. But if they beat Kansas City, then fuck, you know, fuck last week, whatever. Like, Tom Brady put up an Instagram the other day that I was like, ins- every worry I had, I read what his his caption, and I was like, yo, they're fucking making it. I was like, <laughs> yeah, like, what was yeah. I thinking? He was like, he was like uh, something. I forget exactly what it said, but something about like when you look like. When you lose, it's about like going out and winning the next week. Like when we're you not quit, over, you're yeah. done. Yeah, 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 yeah that was what it was. was. Like, yeah, when you yeah. quit, you're done. Like we're not done yet. Blah blah. blah. Like baddest motherfucker I was, on the planet. Yeah, and I was like, <laughs> I was like, all right, I, they're not fucking done yet. Fuck yeah, that. Exactly. The Damn, last bro. year when he put out the Instagram of uh, him and like uh, many men with Fifty Cent, I was like, there just is a prayer that we're gonna over. lose another game. Yeah. I was like, this man's gonna win fucking whatever comes across. So. I know you're a football guy. Like, obviously, you played like growing up and stuff. Yeah. But what do you think about this Patriots team? Obviously, the defense has done well, but it, you, we really worried about Tom Brady and the offense getting together, or what? Um, I just feel like the receivers are just not on the same page with Tom Brady at all right now. Like, I think that's pretty obvious. Like, he's throwing the ball. People, this is his thing. In the past, people would abandon their routes if if a if a lapse in the defense opened up, they would abandon their route and get open, and Brady would. Like they, he'd be you know go like and they oh, yeah. on the same they page and then he, yeah and like they're not that's not happening like I forget who it was it might have been Jacoby Myers I forget who it was he this happened last game he was, kill Harry he was Benson, yeah I forget yeah. who it was yeah, but yeah. he was waving someone to, he was telling him like break off your route and go oh, and, and Dorset yeah, and he came, yeah. he came back and he threw the ball like to nobody yeah, yeah and yeah. if he had just did what he was supposed to he, like if he broke off his route he would have had a touchdown and it was like you know what I mean the old days that was a touchdown every fucking time yeah. and now it's like. 
then it's not on the same page. He's just throwing the ball like more than I say at least like three times. I feel like he threw the ball to nobody because the guy was. He's thinking the receiver's gonna be there, and they weren't there. That's that's the no. Problem. Yeah, there were two where like the screen, like the camera goes like over here, and there's yeah. just no one fucking yeah. there. And it was it's like, like he's not throwing out. the ball there for like yeah, he's not Tom throwing Brady. the ball away. He's not <laughs> yeah. throwing the ball away there. Like he's no one's there. You know he would have he would have thrown it out of bounds yeah. if he was throwing the yeah. ball away. Like he's throwing the ball because he's expecting the receiver to be there and they're not there. That's the that's the biggest problem. You know oh, yeah, so terrible. that's I think a game like last week, you look at Brady and stuff and. Edelman's obviously the top receiver, and you look at the. I normally don't agree with the Jamoke of Chris Collins where he's commentating a game, but he's talking about Romeo Cornell just taking Edelman out of the game and making these receivers yeah. try to beat him, and that's exactly what happened. Well, I mean, well, they double covered every single yeah, play. Yeah, right. every yeah, right. Every single play. Yeah, yeah. You know I mean? And I, I'll give the Patriots credit. They didn't quit, and they almost called all the way back. What was it? Brandon Bolden almost got that onside well, kick. Yeah, they they would. Yeah, like, they got I know. They win the I game. Cannot, yeah. I was like, this will be such like typical Patriots fashion if they get the onside kick here and come down to win. It like, been wild. Oh, yeah. How many times have they squeaked by winning games like with shit oh, yeah. like that happening? You know what I mean? That's why it's people like that. be so. That's why people hate them. Like, yeah. imagine how mad the rest of the country would be if that happened. I was. Uh, I think like the last time they played the Texans, I think that's what happened. Yeah. It was just like a deep touchdown. Oh, the game with, like, went past seconds Brandon left Cooks. Like, yeah, on the like, left side. Yeah. I remember that? Yeah. That Texans walking in with like SWAT people like that was. Uh, I thought that, that was, was game deep. over when I saw that. I was like, this is just like the Letterman yeah. jackets. Like yeah. a lot of people hated like, them on that. I. That, that was, was like my that least was favorite part of weird, that winning. That's a weird... <laughs> like, that's that a weird... Yeah. Why like, do that? that? That's a bold yeah. move to sucks. do against the Patriots. <laughs> ten, uh, what were we, 10-1 and one last week going yeah. into that? Yeah, yeah, 10-2 that, now. That's, so that's what, what I mean. That's they a got, bold move. They got Kansas City, Buffalo, which Buffalo's been a good team this year, yeah. and then Cincy and then Miami, which is kind of washed, even though they both won last week, but... I think if they got to close out at least three and one, I don't think they're going to get the bye. Dude. I, I think oh, well, they're going to get the bye, but they're not going to get home field advantage throughout the playoffs. I think the Ravens is going to roll right through. And Lamar, it, needs yeah. Yeah. Lamar needs to get hurt. Yeah, Lamar needs to get hurt right now. I hate to say that, but like, fucking someone's got to hurt. That's the whole thing, though. Going in the last week, you were like, fine, he has to come to Foxborough in January, but like now it might not happen. It but, sucks that. Yeah. that the Ravens beat San Fran the other day. Oh, yeah. That would have been awesome sad. for us if they lost. That sucks. That's my thing, though. Even if their it's offense isn't one. going. No. Oh, they, that was down in the wire. I'm yeah. here for it. Last that, year, I'd fucking bring it to fucking Arrowhead, dude. Let's <laughs> kick the fuck yeah, out. We'll yeah. bring it to fucking last Baltimore. Last year, we were 11 and 5. Like, we're, we're still better than last year. I, that Someone, I saw Ball a post in. about that. Like, I mean, we're fine. Put it in Baltimore. Defense is way better. Fine, but Defensive the, team. Yeah. Brady just need. they got to figure it out, but they got time to do it. They will. And then what, what did you – you tweeted Bowl, something. What's the record of Boston sports? I thought that was pretty fucking Four, spectacular. What was it, 45, 10, and 5, including it's the like, Celtics, Patriots, it's like insane. and the Bruins. Yeah, the last team to lose at home was the Red Straight Sox. up undefeated. <laughs> like, bro, we so don't put that out earlier, though. Sorry. It's but, not yeah. often that Thanks Boston that teams are losing these days, like, so I don't know. I, I, the, the Patriots know what they're doing. They're not going to fuck up. I think they get to the AFC Championship and whatever happens, happens. But Lights Out Lang's going to be in Miami, and so is Magic Mike, and that means the Patriots have to be there. They better be there. Tom the Brady stars will, be there. will. If you don't do it for yourselves, do it for do us. Do it for <laughs> us. Do it for us. This kid, please. He wants, he do it for me. Do it for Lights Out Lang. Please. I want to go so bad. He wants you there. He's not going to even fucking go if you I'll don't be so show. mad. Lights Out Lang, appreciate you coming on the yeah, show, man. We're happy, now, happy to be here. Yeah, we're now going to bounce on to our Magic Mike Minute. And we're shaking things up for the Magic Mike Minute this time around. So November 22nd, obviously, if you guys ordered on pay-per-view, Live at Barstool, Rough and Rowdy, the operator against Magic Mike. And you know what? It didn't go that well for the operator. We got the operator and his trainer, or whatever the hell you want to call him, Anton, back in the slums, wherever they are. What's going on, guys? Man, well, I don't know. I got to tell you, operator, it didn't go well. Yeah, well, I gave him my all out there, and that's all you can do. You know, you come out into the event, and uh, things change the second they call they call your name up. Yeah, I mean, I I probably look like you fucking feel right now. How are those ribs treating you? It's just not good. You know, I'm going on uh, week one here, and uh, I can I, I can barely move. I can barely push out a shit. So I mean, it's hanging on for dear life. To be quite honest with you, back starting to hurt I, a little I, bit. This one hurts. I'm not gonna lie. It, we need to come back. I mean, I. It, your brother beat you up. I fucking hate him. Yeah. I hate him. I fucking hate him. Yeah. How are we going to take him back? Do, do I need to take a fucking bat to his knee? Where are you guys? Yeah, we're just uh, hanging out, you know, outside of the studio right now, just against the brick wall here. <laughs> I don't know. We're, we're, we're in the dumpster. We're, we're 
<laughs> I haven't Literally known where I am. Down in the, the dumps since the uh, fight. We're yeah. we're in a bad place. This 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 is literally the epitome Vegas. of Literally literally you go into Vegas, you play a couple slots, you lose what, four hundred bucks? Oh, I'm gonna make this back real quick over on the blackjack? Down eight hundred. Oh shit. I've been out of it since uh the third round. So, you know, I don't I don't know what happened after the ref came up to me and said, Hey, can we do another one? Wait, who is that? Oh fuck. Tom, look f- who it is. This fucking jackass again. This jackass. Oh, rough and rowdy. Walking around Quincy like I he's showed a this motherfucker. I showed him mercy. This is what he gets. This is what he deserves. He lives. He he deserves to live in the fucking streets, wherever the fuck you fucking fucks are. You guys don't got one of these. I know that. I'll fucking. I want to fight. No, but I got one of these. You're the yeah. dead. You're the deadbeat kid from high school who won the fucking championship football game and still walks around with that Letterman seven years later. No one gives a fuck about you, man. You're old news. They don't give a fuck about me. No. I, I, I still want to beat you. I regret yeah. my decision. We'll go to out and kick your ass fucking every bitch. fucking night. Fuck I want to kick your ass right Get fucking out of there. These <laughs> I got smells like a fucking <laughs> black white. You, you, know you. you know how much shit I've been getting since <laughs> I fucking came home because I didn't knock your fucking ass out, you piece of shit. Fight was rigged from the beginning. It wasn't fucking. Do we look rigged. fucking scared to you? I don't give a. You look like a couple fucking bums you living in the middle fucking, of the fucking be ghetto. Dead. I shot you in the fucking chest. What are you Minor doing here? Minor setback for a major comeback. You can't kill me. You can't kill me. Let's go. You can't kill me. Fuck you. The only thing you can kill is your guys' spirit. You guys are bums. You, you guys are hanging out here. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> See, well, he still oh. wants it. He still wants a piece of. He still wants a piece of magic, Mike. How are we gonna settle it now, operator? I should have killed you in the ring when I had a fucking chance. Quincy Armory. Quincy Armory. Yeah. Quincy Armory. Armory. Three Show the people. Now. Yeah, yeah. Fucking <laughs> come get me. <laughs> and we're back from whatever the fuck that was. Now we got our annual stale salute, and uh, my buddy here, my guy, who we got today. Oh, we're going with the Slovenian god Luka Doncic. He's out here wiping his dick on the entire NBA. Oh. European going nuts. Uh, he's averaging 30, 10, and 9 at the moment. Just nailing threes in motherfucking yeah, face. Yeah, right in the bronze grill. Imagine being a 20 year old Slovenian kid out here in the NBA and step back threes in LeBron James's face. I'd be Ford- feeling good. I wouldn't be feeling bad. I wouldn't be feeling bad. It's definitely uh, elite. I would, I would say that. Yeah. And I'd go I, 42 points against the Rockets. I'm sure the James Harden, did he drop 60 that game? Or was it right, probably, probably something did. different? I mean, fucking, but they, they won. They've won <laughs> eight of their last nine. We got Anton in the building, man. I know you're a big basketball guy. What's up with Luka Doncic? Well, uh, you know, I saw, the other, I think it was maybe today, maybe yesterday, they were comparing the Luka Doncic step back to James Harden, and somebody was saying, oh, he learned it from Luka. I mean, Luka learned it from James Harden. You know, with chicken of the egg here. Luca's a little young. How did James learn it from Luca? No, I think Luca learned it from someone else, Mike. What's what's going on? You see, you looking up some pitches before this? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Luca probably learned it from his hot mom. <laughs> <laughs> Luca, Luca's mom looks like she's taking a couple step backs. <laughs> you know what he's saying? You know, you know what I'm saying? Is she a married uh, woman? Uh, rumor has it from Anton she's married. I'm not buying it. I think she's banging. When does that ever stop I think she's banging Mark Cuban. Why those DMs? And I think he's, you know, on Shark Tank, he usually says, I'm out. I think he's all in, if you know what I'm saying. That's that's just not, that's not true. <laughs> it was, the story was broke that Vladi Divac did not draft him for well, the Kings. Hey, Vladi Divac, the, worst GMO all time. Can we agree on that? Sucks. The yeah. Sacramento Kings are a joke and they should be out of Sacramento. But, he did not draft him because he does not like Lucas. You want to know it's a married? Joke? I don't know, but he you has know a it's dad. a joke. You stepping on this. <laughs> Thank fucking, goodness. The, the joke is you stepping on this podcast and, and overtaking the steel salute. Steel, please finish fun. up with your stats, please. Hey, I mean, he went, he's a rookie of the year. You know, he's already been. Yeah, already been twenty-one, eight, and six. Coming that. off that, coming okay. off that, has like, uh has five games over fourteen rebounds already in the year. I think it's like the twentieth game of the season. Kids going off. Well, you got to be top three MVP voting anyway. I was, win it. I was just pretty sexy. I was that's, just looking that's at about their as roster. Sexy as his mom is. <laughs> oh shit! I was looking at their <laughs> roster. I'm like, who's Luke? Because Luke is only like 20, right? Yeah. So like, who's got to be his run guy? I'm, I'm just looking down the list. Chris stops like maybe like, but like Boban like definitely. <laughs> like like we got Seth Curry, we got Justin Jackson, right? And then um. Delon Wright. Yeah, JJ. I mean. 
Fuck JJ Barea, but uh, JJ Barea. I could, I he's could in the see, MVP I could see the no. team. Oh. He's on the roster. I could see the team being get like together, Seth Mike. Curry. Go buy this dude fucking beer. <laughs> like get fucking out of here. Go get. It. I could see that. Yeah. He's probably hate Mister Ink. <laughs> yeah. yeah, right. Like he's he's definitely outside of the stadium. Get me some beers. Like, do you know who I am? And people are probably like, yeah, you're a twenty year old. Oh, you think like, that mama brings that juice? What do you think with that? I know she brings it. <laughs> That's what I think about that. Trans- transitioning on into the topic we've all been waiting to talk about for weeks and weeks. Three weeks ago, Nick Foles took o- Big Dick Nick took over as the starting quarterback of the Jacksonville Jaguars. And I- I'm not taking credit. We're all taking credit. We're saying good news going to get it back. So, so after three straight episode one, watch it. We fucking they called it. Minshew season. We're back. After three straight shit stoppings, the Jacksonville Jaguars and Doug Marone say, you know what? We're going to bring it back. Minshew season back. They were down 25 to nothing um, last game against the Buccaneers. Minshew brings them back on 11 0 run to end the game. Um, a day later, they're like, okay, Minshew's our guy for the rest of the season. Well, Nick Foles has this $100 million contract. And you know what they're saying? To hell with it. To hell with you. So how are we, how are we feeling right now on uh, Gardner Minshew coming back and really setting the tone? Oh, back in action. Got to tear it up. Tear it up. I feel like we got to get him back on the show. I, I have to oh, say we'll something back. that, it, you know, it's a little early for the betting segment, but DJ Shark, whatever the over-under on his reception's little player prop bet, take the over. Oh, shut the fuck up, Anton. <laughs> That's bullshit. But the, the, the main question is... I don't is, even know what that meant. With Big Dick Nick getting benched, it looks like the Jacksonville Jaguars coaching staff is getting really big with the axe. So is Josh Dobbs going to come into play here at the end of the season? Okay, he could. There's a chance. He could I, I hope he does. The forehead you might come that. through. You, you deserve that moment. <laughs> you deserve I that. told you. I told you. Like, got to marry one, kill one, fuck one. If Lord Minshew dog. fucks up, <laughs> big dick's gone. Minshew, Minshew, if he fucks up, like, he should be sat. We can't let him just run around his jockstrap forever. Dobbs deserves a shot at this if things go south. I guess I don't know. They're, they're fucked, right? The Jaguars? They're, they're pretty fucked. Yeah, they're, they're not like making any runs seven, for anything. So yeah, yeah. When they played the Give Titans, they let up like f- four touchdowns on like six plays or something. Yeah. Like that team's out of the that is, is Ryan Janahill back? Yeah, I guess. I, I, I guess. Uh, he took that step. <laughs> we'll, we'll see him in the, uh, our gambling segment here. But you think Minshew was just chilling in that canyon that. Uh, you were with him? Uh, actually, no. The uh, the Halloween you were with Uncle, Sedona, you yeah. Uncle Rico. Yeah, I, I think he's back. He was back in Sedona, kind of counting up his sheep, get, trying to get ready, ready, ready to go in, and he's back, baby. I think basically he knew what he was about. He beat the Jets, if you remember, back in the day when he said he beat the Jets, and uh, he was training. I don't know why the hell they wanted to give Big Dick Nick a shot. He told him he was the new big dick in town. Yeah, 100 mils, 100 mils. Do you think he'll be back on the Steel and Nass podcast? I'd, I'd bet my bottom dollar on it. I'd also bet the bottom my bottom dollar the Jaguars might, be, might, might make a late playoff thing. run. Uh, they might be eliminated. I don't know. <laughs> they might be. Are they not, not the I'm here for that. Are they not I'm in here the for hunt? that no, they're, they're not. They're well, that's good because oh, next, they're, they're time, done. That's next time Minshew comes on the show, he's probably going to be in rare form, which is how we like him. We back. like a Minshew that doesn't really have anything to play for, so he'll probably be boozing it yeah, up. Yeah, might fucking rip it. <laughs> God knows what he's going to do <laughs> in that next job. episode. Yeah. Rumor has it he's got a comic book he's coming out with. I don't fucking know. Tune we'll see in. See how it goes. I think he's in. coming by for yeah. Christmas, he said. Should have stayed in the truck. <laughs> yeah. All right, we'll get on to my bonehead of the week because this is my time, guys. Not for your bullshit, Anton. Oh, we got ooh. we got Joseph ooh. Bulovas. So we're, I don't even care about what you yeah, say your name is because I got a beef with you. I My know. Alabama Crimson Tide, they they had one more chance. They had one more chance. All they had, they had to do was win, and they get in the college football playoff. You know what? He missed a game-tying 30-yard field goal. This Joseph Bulovas, or whatever you say his name, fucking bullshit. 30-yard field goal miss. Lost in the Iron Bowl against Auburn. Ruins Alabama's chances of getting into the CFP playoffs. What do you? I know we got a college insider here, Mike Steele. Every What's going on? single week, I want the University of Alabama to lose as <laughs> absolutely fucking heartbreakingly as possible. So that was beautiful. Not as beautiful as the kick six a few years back, but like that was that was beautiful. And the icing on the like, cake here for you. Alabama drops to number twelve, the lowest ranking in the CFP playoff era. 
Yeah, they're dead. Not even a factor. It's beautiful. Not to bring up another hypothetical here, but the, the tweet that Ninja had, the, that Fortnite player, he said, is it hard to, like, how hard is it to kick a field goal? Like, there should be a pool of people willing to kick, like... Like, high school soccer players that are good. Like, you can't find someone that can kick a 30-yard field goal. Paul Curtin makes that kick. I'm, I make that Easily. fucking kick. Lights out Lang. Lights out Lang. Former Lights soccer Lang. Lang makes that kick. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. Maybe with, okay, maybe with his face. I agree. I agree. <laughs> he could have fisted that in. Uh, no, my, my, my heart and dedication's there. Absolutely. My big thing kick. is I'm doing my research on this guy, Joseph Baluvas. I don't even want to say his last name. I'm sure I'm pronouncing it wrong. I don't really He's give a, a shit. Head. He's from Baton Rouge, which is <laughs> LSU, league. which is their rival, which makes matters worse. And I also saw he's a three-star recruit. If you go to Bama, they don't even look at three-star recruits. How do you get there, then? I, I don't know. Maybe walk on. <laughs> maybe he had a good day. Everyone has a good day. I mean, shit, you had a good day like two weeks ago, huh? It was a decent Jam day. Champ's here. Champ's here. Champ's here. Oh, boy. Champ's here again now that Lights Out's gone. Yeah. Lights Out Lang. So, right. bottom line, Alabama will not be in the college football playoffs. Fuck them. And it's partly because of this. I'm going to say it. I, I said that. it last week. I used it too many times. A fucking suck bag. That's what he is. Suck bag. Yeah. We'll get into my uh, our favorite because this ain't about me. This is about us. We're going to get into our NFL picks. Selfish. for It's week 14 now, man. Flying by, flying by. So, Steele, who's your first pick of the night? First pick's fucking obvious. We're riding Gardner Minshew all fucking day. The return of the king. Let's Plus three up. versus the Chargers. Ooh. Those fucking losers. This season's Easy. already done. Easy. Smell ya. Easy. Yeah. yeah. I have a nice Easy. little season long day of bet. Uh, Chargers under 10 wins. Ooh. Already won it. Yeah. Already won. Already won it. We clap for our winners around here. That's money. That's money. Even if he is a fucking loser. <laughs> Oh man, crickets. Okay, <laughs> so so uh, yeah, we'll go in my pick. We're talking about you want to win, boo boo Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh wow, really setting there. Yeah, um, Tennessee. We're talking about Someone Ryan Tannehill. Talk about big dicks, but not Nick Foles. I'm taking two and a half that over Oakland. Oakland, the last two games, I think they're getting outscored like sixty-five to three. It's Tennessee's time to shine. I think they're seven and five. Yeah, seven and five, and they're looking for a wild card spot. And I, I think that's. That might be my lock of the week. I think that's it. We'll knock on wood here. Once you say the L word, man, it's over. But I feel that confident, man. Still ne- next up. What's After up, After that, we got out of the Seahawks and a pick them over the Rams. I'm Seahawks, with you on that one. Yeah, that's one of my picks, too. Five in a row. I mean, eight of their last nine. Jared Goff. Looks good to me. It seems Looks like they're me. always losing, and then Russell Wilson just does He pulls that. it out somehow. Now, one little thing at the incredible. end. Who, who they played the other night? They played Minnesota? Yes. And, I mean, that was just an ultimate choke job by Kirk Cousins. But Kirk Cousins is way better of the quarterback than Jared Goff. Oh, yeah. Russell Wilson, he throws to nobody, yeah. and he somehow gets it done. Well, it's I said my crazy. blog today talking about Jared Goff. We should feed him to the Wolves. He's fucking horrible. Since that Super Bowl, Man. Belichick has ruined Sean McVay. Brady yeah, he's has bad. ruined yeah. Jared Goff. Same with fucking Matt Ryan. Yeah, Falcons is he, is he, Falcons. He is at the quietest fall from grace that I've ever seen in my goddamn life. Nobody's even fucking saying he sucks. It's like <laughs> Julio is the worst pick in fantasy all year. It, it, it's driving me goddamn in fucking the, insane. The Panthers are favored by three at home Preach. against Atlanta. Who do you like in that game, man? Preach. I, mean, is that, I think that was a pretty good segue. I, I, it's not even close. That's not even the game I want to talk about. You know what? Christian McCaffrey is going to fucking literally take his dick and put it right, <laughs> right, right. Right up fucking Matt Ryan's butthole. Oh, my. That was one of my Shout picks. Out the, so aggressive. Shout out the BC alum. Yeah, so Shout out aggressive. the BC alum. That was one of my Ooh, picks, too, because it was alum? like uh, Matt Ryan. Luke, well, oh. and, uh, yeah, yeah, Luke yeah. Kuechly might do it, too, then, on defense. They're going to oh. have, oh. have a new coach, yeah, so like yeah, it's that's, just going to be McCaffrey, up. McCaffrey, <laughs> McCaffrey, and I pick it's, them, it's, too. I pick he's unbelievable. Oh, that was your last pick? Outside of LT's like record breaking fantasy performance ever, the like, greatest fantasy season of all time, mm-hmm. McCaffrey. I mean, he doesn't even score a touchdown. He's it's thirty fantasy points a week. It's it's unfucking believable. It's he like is. Really amazing. My last spread pick. We kind of talked about it earl- earlier with uh, Bobby. There, we got New England minus three against Kansas City. I'm telling you, this is the week it comes out. They fucking get the offense going. The Kansas City defense stinks. I'm telling you, they stink. They're done. 21 straight at home. It's going to be 22, baby. Big shout out to Matt McHumor. You're my guy. Patriots that, are going to win four lights out Lang. That's just, they're going to win for him. They know what's on the line. They know. The guy, Beck, he, he literally said, get to the Super Bowl. If you don't think Belichick watches this fucking podcast, show, whatever it is, he watches. <laughs> we got direct connection with him. 
And he watches, and he knows Lights Out Lang's a champion. He knows Magic Mike's a champion. <laughs> so does his wife. <laughs> Both of them wives. I don't even know who we're talking about. Sorry. Yeah. Keep going. We'll get the Next we'll get we'll, we'll get the dog central here. Where um, you know what, Adam Vinatieri, he's basically all not on IR now, or they might even cut him. They brought in another guy. I forget the guy's name, but you know what? Who really gives a shit? Vinatieri's done. No, he might be back. I mean, he's done, but. He's done like us, because we ain't going nowhere, because we can't be stopped. Why aren't the Patriots taking him? Well, we'll he's say. on the team. Yeah, he's, he's on, on the, the Patriots? He's no. And he no. sucks. He's injured. <laughs> but my pick, they're, they're underdogs against Tampa Bay this week, which Jameis Winston's just a pick six waiting to happen. Anton knows that too well, winning that parlay a couple weeks ago. Big shout-out, big shout-out. A lot of money. We clap for money around here. So we're getting at, we're getting in. Pay attention to his yeah. blogs. He wins money. You want to win money? You follow Anton. You want to win money? You follow Adam. Who are you talking to? Not you. <laughs> I'm talking to the camera, motherfucker. Well, anyway, we got Indianapolis at a plus 145 stake. I think that's that's great money against. I think they're probably on the road against Tampa. Indy's kind of had a tough kind of go up go about here, but I think Jacoby Brissett's going to bring him to the promised land. What do you think, Anton? I. Love Jacoby Brissett. Love that guy. Good Lloyd Brissett. Love I'm going to give you two two dogs here. All right? <laughs> One. Both actually probably a little bit crazy. Who let the dogs out? The, little, the mask. This <laughs> time, let the dogs out. Is, 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 is the Buffalo Bills over the fucking Baltimore Ravens. Ooh. Love it. No one's going to put your money with them all, please. You know why? I like that it's dog. It's, it's only six. It's state. only six. Everybody's going to be, oh, Lamar Jackson's going to kill these no, guys. No, but, but we're, Lamar Jackson we're talking about underdog six. picks. they got to win. they got to win. Fuck the spread. They will. They will. You know why? Because this defense is legit for Buffalo. They stop the inside. You, Lamar Jackson loves to... You know, a little dink and dunk, this, that. Mark Ingram loves it. Run right up the fucking gut. I think it's that new era in Buffalo, too. They, so that, so they're going to get the tables hopping. That, they're going to get stopping. This is in this Baltimore defense is playing well. That DN, what, I don't fucking know his I name. I would have loved that loss. Great. I hope Shaq you're right. No, no, no. The one Yonda, what if, John, Joe. Jonda. Jonda. Jonda, fuck it. Yeah. He, he's he been playing well. <laughs> yeah. So Josh Allen, a strong strong player, though. Devin Singletary. Is, is is coming into his own, and John Brown is is, John is, is a doing beast. well. It, 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 I, I I actually like fucking Buffalo's chance win by one, and then they're, they're just bringing Frank Gore in for win like five one. carries every game. Yeah, and they're like, oh, they, he has now passed Barry Sanders. Yeah. He has now passed right. this guy. Like, just pound the crazy, rock. Yeah. Keep Lamar off the field. My second one. Even no, no, no. Let him go, and then we'll come back. Yeah, it's not all about you, yeah. Anton. All right, you don't get two buddy. fucking dogs in a row. Still um, dog. And my dog, I jumped the gun because like Minshew was my dog, but like. I jumped the gun on that one. But uh, my other pick. <laughs> Minshew was your Owned dog? It, Owned yeah, it. no, the other pick. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, oh. Minshew was plus three. Yeah, we're fucking taking it, dude. By a billion. Uh, the other pick bad. I had was uh, Pittsburgh. Minus two and a half over the Cardinals. Mike Tomlin somehow just getting it done with fucking that ragtag team. Rag tag team. They're six. They're about to be a playoff team. Dog, uh, baby. I think they got it Dog again. Dog The Cardinals baby. ain't showing shit. I think they can, I think they can win handedly. I agree. Who's uh, your second dog? I, I'd like to shit. throw my dog in. Oh yeah, do it. Yeah, before we give Anton his time to shine one more time, I'm picking Magic Mike versus Mike Live, January 31st. Rough and rowdy. It's Super all Bowl. about him. It's not all about me, <laughs> but I'm gonna I'm getting the early bets on that one. After hearing what Lights Out Lang had to say about Mike Live, you heard all the good things he had to say. He said he's a tough opponent. If he's not fighting the toughest guy in New England, I'm taking the early bets. I don't look like I'm in fighter form, but trust me. Come champ is champ. Champ is champ. Champ is here. And I'm going to take that motherfucker down. I'm going to take him down. Providence he shouldn't even be acknowledged as a goddamn state. Uh, bring that big dick down to Miami. We'll see if you can try out for Bang Bros, brother. For the record, Fuck Providence you. is not a Fuck state. Fuck you. <laughs> Providence is not a state. Rhode Island is a state. You got the biggest dick of Rhode Island. Bring it down to Miami, oh. motherfucker. All right, now we're talking about football. Yeah. Anton, what's your second on yeah. <laughs> so my that, second, was, that just Christ. made me sick. So my second one, if these dogs are supposed to win. Fuck you, my glad. I still like it. It's I can't even get the money line on my phone because it's such a big spread. I like the Detroit Lions in fucking Jeff... His name's Blow. I'm calling him Jeff Blow. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff Blow, 12 and a half point dog. Joe Blow? <laughs> no, I just said Jeff. <laughs> Let him talk. 12 and a half point dog over the Minnesota Vikings. Yeah, Kirk Cousins, bum. No Kirk no. Cousins is fine. Dylan could fine. be back. 
It doesn't matter. I raised you the stakes and you said 12 and a half. I'm taking the Vikings spread. I think they're going to fuck them up. Nope. 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 All right. Well, that's my pick. Trey Flowers has Money a big day. Darius Slay that shuts on. down Stephon Diggs. Do you guys both I like put it. money on it so we get to see a winner or a loser? Yeah, I love it. I, I, think, they, I think they will. I, I think, think they I will. I think I will. He's no, taking his wallet out. Okay. He's throwing money. He's throwing money. I see some 20s in there, fellas. <laughs> I'm not going to throw my money because I'm going to. He only has card. Does so anyone else have any picks left or we make them all? All right. So we made them all. So I want to give a quick. Quick toast to our buddy Kieran Hannon. Unfortunately, passed away a week and a half ago. Love you, brother. I thought I'd bring it Love up. You, Love you, homie. Rest in peace, my guy. Rest in peace, my brother. Keep an eye on us. Yes. All right, folks. I really appreciate you guys tuning in. Appreciate Bobby uh, Lang coming on the show. If anyone... Would like to write for a blog or purchase any Steel and Naz t-shirts as the holiday season is quickly reaching upon us. Just let a brother know. You see it plenty around here. That's all from Steel and Naz, Mass Music Radio's Pioneer Podcast. We'll see you next time.